Okay, right, so let's quickly look at the pharmacology of the next drug, which is what? Nicardipine. So look at the pharmacology of what? Nicardipine. Nicardipine drug. So anytime you hear dipine, 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 you know that that drug is actually what? A calcium channel blocker. And how do calcium channels blockers work? Calcium channel blockers are basically drugs that block the channels where calcium is supposed to come into and cause contraction. Do you understand? So as there is no calcium coming into the channels, there's no contraction taking place. You get it? So let's talk about this nicardipine drug, which you guys should get to appreciate it. So this nicardipine drug is a second generation dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker. Right, so it's used primarily to treat any condition that is basically making the heart overwork, like hypertension or angina pectoris. Okay, so from here now we'll talk about this nicardipine in an arranged manner. Okay, where we get to talk about the mechanism of action, we we'll talk about the pharmacokinetics, we we'll talk about the clinical uses, we'll talk about the side effect and safety when using this drug. Okay. So for the mechanism of action, we say that this nicardipine, it works by blocking calcium, channel cha um, calcium channels in vascular smooth muscles, okay? So this will lead to what? Vasodilation. Because calcium is not coming in to cause contraction, there will be relaxation, okay? So this will now reduce what? The systemic vascular resistance and it will lower the blood pressure, okay? So it has what a greater selectivity for L-type calcium channels in vascular smooth muscles compared to cardiac myocytes, which actually minimizes what cardiodepressant effect. Okay, for the pharmacokinetics for absorption, nicardipine is well absorbed orally, with the peak serum levels reaching within one to two hours. For metabolism, it undergoes extensive first pass effect and is metabolized in the liver. We are cytochrome 3A4. All right. Uh, for excretion, the drug is what excreted primarily through urine, 60% as metabolites, and through feces, about 35% of it. Okay. Half life. The elimination half life is about two to four hours. Okay. With a terminal half life of 8.6 hours. All right. Then for protein binding, the calipin is what? Highly protein bound with about 95% of the drug bound to plasma proteins. Okay. Clinical uses. It can be used to treat things like hypertension. So it's used to manage mild to moderate essential hypertension. Okay. Angina pectoris. It is effective in treating chronic stable angina and prince metal variant angina. Okay. The cerebral what is ischemia. It can be used off label for the treatment of focal and global cerebral ischemia. Side effects and safety for the common side effects, you have things like what? You can treat hypertension, so you can tilt you into hypotension, okay? So you can tilt the patient into hypotension, headache, dizziness, and peripheral edema. For contraindication, if the patient already has what? Advanced aortic stenosis, you don't use the drug. If they have hypersensitivity for nicardipine, you don't use the drug. Or any component of nicardipine, you don't use the drug at all. Precautions. As I'm giving the drug, monitor for potential in interaction to other medications that can be metabolized by cytochrome 3A4. All right? So I think that's it for the pharmacology of this um, nicardipine, which is a calcium channel blocker.